So I logged into the servers and everything was still alive, so I took a backup and copied everything off and started trying to find what's actually going on. So, uh, while trying to get uh, all of the information about what, what's, uh, what was going on, uh, I f find some legal advice, I got a lawyer for us, and you know, I'm trying to um, just keep everything cool and organized. Yes, I care if she brings me spring. Don't care about nothing She brings the rain Oh yeah, she brings the rain In the dawn of the silvery day Clouds seem to melt away She brings the rain Oh yeah, she brings the rain Silvery day, clouds seem to melt away. She brings the rain, oh, yeah, she brings the rain. Oh, yeah, she brings the rain. We started Pirate Bay in 2003. It started on a shared server in Mexico uh, where my colleague Gottfried worked. And uh, it developed so that uh, the internet connection of that company became so uh, highly utilized that we had to move it to Sweden. And then we just kept growing and growing. There, there was obviously demand for a stable Swedish tracker. So, so well, I wasn't involved from the very beginning, but well, they needed some place to ho host it. and. Well, that's, that's when I first came into the picture. Uh, back, back then I, I didn't even know how BitTorrent worked. I had, had someone explain it for me and okay, we'll do that. So, so I hooked them up with, uh, with WebSpace on my server, which was uh, then hosted in the basement of, of the place I worked, worked at then. And so I also got, after a while I also got, got involved in the set, set up and maintenance of the site. I mean, the Pirate Bay, I don't really know how they work because they, are, they don't say very much to us <laughs> all the time, but they, they seem to work a bit like a, like a rock band. I've been a great admirer of uh, particularly the Pirate Bureau's work and even the Pirate Bay's work for several years. We have about, a good approximation is about one to two million unique visitors per day. Running a BitTorrent uh, indexing site like uh, the Pirate Bay uh, wasn't or isn't directly unlawful under Swedish law or under, I mean, like most copyright laws, because it's not about uh, direct involvement in, in transactions of copyrighted material, but only transactions of metadata, basically, links and file names and checksums and so on. But we were always ready for a, for a raid or some of some kind. So we basically just we had a, some sort of knowledge to how we would should react. And that's basically what, what I did. Rapport kan ikväll avslöja att Rassian är ett resultat av ett politiskt spel på högsta politiska nivå mellan regeringarna i Rosenbad och Vita Hus. The worldwide motion picture industry lost $18.2 billion to piracy in 2005. Internet piracy alone cost the industry $7.1 billion. The people running America's movie studios know that if they don't do something, and fast, 
they could be in the same boat as the record companies. What's really at stake for the movie industry with all this piracy? Well, I think, you know, ultimately our absolute future. So Peter Chernin runs 20th Century Fox, one of the biggest studios in Hollywood. Somebody can put a perfect digital copy up on the internet, perfect digital copy, right? And with the click of a mouse, send out a million copies all over the world in an instant. And it's all free. If that takes hold, kiss Hollywood goodbye. I got a, got a phone call from, from someone, someone at my Volate company that we shared office space with that uh, there, was a, there was a lot of, a lot of poli policemen there. And they asked, what the fuck? What, uh, I mean, we, we have like one or two requests a year that, that they want us to, for example, give out the details to a specific customer. So I was like, okay. So, so I went there with a the cab and the police actually stopped the cab with lights flashing and all. Jackie and I are on a mission to stop piracy. If this is a movie, we can take on the bad guys ourselves. But this is the real world. We need your help. When you buy pirate movie and music, you support criminals. Now these criminals are counterfeiting other things, like electronics and medicine. Take action. Demand the real thing. Help us stop piracy. Let's terminate it. There were already police officers present, uh, and they wanted to know who I was. And I kept asking, who are you? And they, who are you? Because they didn't identify themselves as police officers. And after a bit of uh, who are you in, uh, they finally, yeah, we're police officers. We're here on, on investigations. They first asked us some stuff about the BitTorrent protocol. Then they asked some stuff about the Pirate Bay and my involvement in it. All servers from all our server rooms were taken. In total, somewhere around 250, 300 servers. Where the Pirate Bay is about 20 of those servers. So all the time I spent there, they only asked me questions about 25 minutes. And it's most, mostly, how does BitTorrent work? Do you know what the Pirate Bay is? Do you operate the Pirate Bay? I think the, the prosecutor had I just written up this, this little little script for them to follow. Paris being Sweden got raided uh, for some reason, but I'm not sure. I'm not really that much uh, into it. Well, the American lobby organizations told Swedish police basically to do it, to raid them and to close them down. So the big companies told them to do that. Viktiga filmintressena i Hollywood har skickat sin intresseorganisation MPAA till Vita huset i Washington. Amerikanska utrikesdepartementet har sedan tagit kontakt med UD i Sverige och krävt att problemet med Pirate Bay måste lösas. They think that uh, the US jurisdiction stretches around the world. That yeah, it's illegal according to US law, but it's not illegal according to Swedish law. And the US really appreciated that we yeah, talk back to them. Tell them that you don't decide over the internet. We, the users, do. En och en halv månad sedan åkte en delegation med företrädare för Rikspolisstyrelsen, Rikskriminalpolisen och Justitiedepartementet över till USA för att höra vad USA krävde. Amerikanska myndigheter lät då den svenska delegationen förstå hur problemet med Pirate Bay borde lösas. När delegationen var hemma igen hamnade frågan på högsta politiska nivå hos justitieminister Thomas Bodström som signalerade att något måste göras. Polis och åklagare svarade då regeringen att rättsläget är oklart. Man hade inte nog på fötterna för att agera mot Pirate Bay. Just den frågan hade en åklagare redan uträtt. Men regeringen var inte nöjd med svaret. Justitieministerns statssekreterare kontaktade då riksåklagaren och rikspolischefen som i sin tur beordrade åklagare och polis att agera.